What's up everyone, 5280 Reefer here, back at you again with a new episode. In today's episode, kind of just want to go over a small little update with the tank. Uh, the last video you guys saw was probably three weeks old. It was filmed about three weeks ago, I just never got to editing it or putting it together. This video here uh, was filmed this Saturday, so yesterday, today is Sunday. And, um, basically, yeah, I just wanted to touch up on the testing that I spoke about last week. Um, so since I didn't do any testing for about a month, I knew that I really needed to do that because I've been kind of neglecting the tank. So I ended up cleaning the tank, the back wall, blew off the rocks, side glass, front glass, stuff like that. The, the normal cleaning stuff. Did not touch the sand of any cyano, uh, just kind of left that there, let it do its thing, run its course. And um, after waiting like two, three hours, uh, I ended up doing my testing. So for my alkalinity, it came out at like 9.5, which is pretty normal. I've been between 9 and 10 for the past year, so that's been very steady. Uh, magnesium came out to like 1250, so I ended up dosing some magnesium. Um, to bring it up to like 1350, 1400. Calcium uh, tested at 410, which I am perfectly happy with. Um, my nitrates actually tested at 2, which is uh, pretty low, you know, uh, for in my opinion and for my liking. Um, I think 2 is way too close to 0, so I actually ended up dosing. A little bit of DIY uh, potassium nitrate stump remover solution um, to bring it up to the 10 point somewhere around there and then my phosphates were at 0.15 uh, which is pretty good uh, I've haven't changed out my GFO or my carbon in a while uh, at least a month and I was surprised that it was on point like that um, so I'm going to test it again this weekend, this coming up week weekend. And, and if I see that the phosphates are creeping up, I will change out the GFO in the reactor and that should set that straight. Um, and also, uh, when I spoke on my last little update, basically, as I said, some of my SPS have been showing polyp retraction. So I did end up picking up an ICP test. Um, I will be sending that out on Monday. I didn't want to send it out over the weekend. It's supposed to be freezing here soon. And we know the post office don't work over the weekend. So I didn't want it just sitting around freezing somewhere in the post office. Um, so Monday morning, I'll be sending that out and hopefully we'll get the test within two weeks, which we usually do. Um, and the reason why I wanted to send that out, again, is because of the polyp retraction, and that's kind of going to rule out some things for me. So if the ICP comes back clean and everything is good as should be or near, you know, um, then I'll know it's not something in my water column, and then I'll know that it's actually my stripey uh, picking at some of the polyps on uh, the SPS, which either way is fine. Um, I would rather have no Aptasia because in the wild, you're not really going to see SPS with so much polyp extension on it um, because there's so many natural predators around it, right? There's so many angelfish, so on and so forth that could eat those polyps. So I have come to the tank at night and kind of turned on my camera flashlight and pointed it at the um, acros and I see good polyp extension at night. So that makes me know that everything is fine and everything's growing. So yeah, guys, just wanted to kind of let you know what the next couple of videos are going to be about. It's going to be actually about me finally attacking the cyano in my tank. That stuff has been in my tank way too long. I need to do something about it. Plan is going to be go the natural route. No chemically, no red slime remover. Just going to be using the Microbacter Clean from Brightwell and dosing a DIY version of some coral snow. And hopefully that will take care of the cyano issue once and for all. 
over time. But yeah, guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for hearing me out. And as always, you guys have a wonderful day and keep on reefing.